on the 30th of December 2023. Like I told you earlier, I spent the last week of December fasting and praying. So at 9.05 in the morning, I have a habit of recording everything accurately, the date and the time. So on that day and on that time, I saw a vision. In the vision, I saw angels in heaven preparing weapons for invasion on earth. You may wonder now, what does it mean angels are preparing weapons for war? Let me give you one example. In Revelation chapter 15, verses 5 to 7, before the angels go to pour the bowls of wrath on the earth, see that bowls of wrath were their weapons. Before they could do that, we read angels were preparing. Something was happening in the temple. And from the temple, an angel brought the bowls of wrath. And they handed it over to one of the four living creatures. Seven angels came and stood in one line. Those seven angels were prepared for this work. So the living creature took the bowls and gave one each to all the seven angels. See, there is time for preparation. So in this vision, I saw angels were preparing the their weapons they have in heaven for invasion on the earth. As I was looking at this vision, I heard a voice in heaven ask me a question. The army in heaven is getting prepared. Is the army on earth getting prepared? In Revelation chapter 19 verse 14, we read of armies in heaven that will accompany the Lord Jesus when he comes back again. So there are armies in heaven. So the question asked is this. The army in heaven is getting prepared. Is the army on the earth getting prepared? I didn't know what to answer. Then the voice continued. Look at the angels. And when I paid attention looking at them, I saw them dressed in battle armor. I saw a large shield on the left side of their waist it was attached to their belt. And a sword was attached to the right side of their waist. And the voice said, they are training and get ready for the Revelation 12-7 invasion. Wow. What does that scripture say? And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon and the dragon and his angels fought. Now, why do they need training? See, the dragon and his angels are not just weaklings. They are also mighty and strong. A good example is found in Daniel chapter 10. So in order to win the war, they need to prepare. So when so much of preparation is taking place in heaven, the voice asks me, how much then is the army on earth getting ready? Another question was asked, how much is taught to them concerning the believers warrior garments and weapons are they been taught in the churches concerning the believers armor of god ephesians chapter 6 verses 13 to 18 are they taught about the believers weapons second corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 it says there the weapons of our warfare so there are some kind of spiritual weapons that are for the believers are you taught that if not then how can you be prepared the counsel of the Lord is they should not be on the enemy's side fighting against their brethren. Sadly, that's exactly what is happening today. People of God, wake up and know who your real enemy is. The Lord Jesus further said, he asked me a question. Are the youths advancing my kingdom on the earth or are they busy expanding their kingdom and dreams? And the Lord Jesus said, man of God, look. The weapons of warfare are lying down uncared for. A shield and your sword are just lying down. Why? Because they are busily engrossed with their mobile phones forwarding chats. These are not my words. This is the word of the Lord. So because your weapons are all lying down on the ground, the enemy comes stiltily behind them and steals their weapons and speaks to them to pursue worldly passion. So instead of pursuing your destiny, the enemy now comes, gives you a different word. Oh, go in a different direction. Arise, people of God. Rise from your stupor and slumber who have drunk too much wine of fornication the pleasures of this world read revelation chapter 14 verse 8 chapter 17 verse 2 babylon stretches his hand to give you a cup of wine and that is the cup of fornication arise arise from your stupor and slumber the lord now gives you six counsels the first is 
you have drunk too much of wine realize where you have fallen counsel number 2 as since you are lying down drunk get up from your slumber look at the weapons lying beside you draw your weapon start taking the weapons in your hand you should know what to do before ask the lord for battle plans isaiah chapter 45 verse 11 ask me concerning the work of my hand but five after receiving the battle plan march towards your destiny run the race that is set before you first corinthians chapter 9 verse 24 hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 run patiently the race that is set before you march towards that destiny number 6 prepare for the coming of the lord 